My name is Hugh Brauer. Um, I graduated in 2011 and I'm currently assistant professor um, of ethics and political philosophy at Tilburg University. In high school I really want, uh, thought about many different professions so I also took um, quite a diversity of courses. Um, uh, I think my like main focus was economics but then I took courses in mathematics as well but I was also interested in languages um, and I really didn't know what I wanted to do. Then I discovered liberal arts and sciences um, in Utrecht um, and it seemed to fit with me very well because I, I could actually combine all of these interests that I had um, and also postpone a little bit the decision of what I, what I wanted to do with my life. Um, I had not been to the campus before the interview, um, so I just applied to UCU and then got at some point uh, an invitation. And um, I remember traveling to Utrecht and being quite nervous, but then I came to the campus and I really liked it. Um, so I, I also became more, more motivated. Um, it's very beautiful. The interview itself was actually quite an enjoyable experience. I had a good feeling after it, um, but of course it was still exciting to to like await this this final verdict. But I really wanted to study in Utrecht um, because uh, the range of courses that was being offered really fit uh, the best with my interests. So interest in social science and humanities. And I think UCU is really good at, at both. Um, so I was very happy when I was admitted there. I um, found the the courses amazing so I uh, I really enjoyed having these like in-depth discussions during class there was this uh, mandatory course that everyone had to take um, introduction to the humanities I think it was called um, taught by Alexis Aronovitz and I really um, enjoyed her as a teacher so she has a very um, like lively style, uh, trying to actively involve um, students uh, and I thought that was very rewarding, also very different from what I had experienced in high school. I must say that I initially had to adjust to campus life a little bit. I went to a, a Dutch high school um, on the countryside in the Netherlands um, and rarely met people from abroad. So um, it was really eye-opening to go to UCU and meet people from um, all these different countries and was living on my own for the first time in my life. Um, so it took a while to get used to this, but the nice thing is that everyone else is also living on campus. So um, I got to know more and more people and made friends and became more comfortable. And it helped having a tutor um, to discuss these things with. I remember that I didn't really have this idea that I would be interested in classical languages but then I talked to my tutor about being interested in religious studies and then he said well maybe you should also take the course in uh, like Latin and, and Greek that we have. Thomas Hart was teaching uh, those uh, those courses and he, um, I, th I think I was the only student who registered and instead of cancelling the course which I think would have happened <laughs> anywhere else um, at UCO they just said okay Thomas Hart you teach you um, Latin and Greek. So I, I took Latin and Greek from Thomas Hart for um, a couple of semesters and really enjoyed that. During the first year I um, discovered that I enjoyed statistics so that I wanted to do a minor in statistics. Um, so I took uh, the courses um, or some of the courses that were required for that. Um, I also um, talked to my tutor and then decided that I probably would want to do an interdepartmental major between humanities and social sciences. Um, and I started to take all of the religious studies courses and all of the um, economics courses at, uh, at UCU. So I gained a little bit more focus during my second year. Doing all the readings um, was uh, quite demanding, but I became better at that during the second year. Uh, also, a lot of the assessment at UCU is based on um, uh, essays um, and I didn't write a lot of essays in high school. That was quite a change as well. So I had to get used to this too, um, but I think during the second year I managed to juggle the workload um, a lot better um, than I did during the first year. One course that I have really particularly fond memories of um, 
is a course uh, called The Problem of Evil, which was taught by Marcel Sarrault. Um, and he um, just was a very, very passionate teacher trying to involve everyone. And it was very interesting material. Something else that I really enjoyed was um, there was this opportunity, I don't know whether it still exists, to um, design your own course. And when I started studying in, um, uh, at UCU in 2008, um, you had the financial crisis. Um, and I was interested in exploring this uh, further. So uh, does this like, change um, what economists should think um, about how markets function and these sorts of things? Um, so I got together with a number of other students to design um, uh, a course ourselves. Um, studying this. So we went to the central bank in the Netherlands to talk um, to one of the board members there um, about how they dealt with the financial crisis and what their perspective on it was. And that was pretty nice that you could do this at the freedom to um, uh, to design a course yourself. I really uh, I really like that too. I was not really part of the, like, so you have a couple of students, um, societies, these sorts of things on campus. I was not really part of, uh, of those, um, but I did meet uh, quite a lot of people that I, uh, that I became friends with and am still, uh, am still friends with. Um, I think looking back that probably I would have liked to spend some more time in the bar than I did. I took my studies very seriously as well. <laughs>
And I really felt at home in this. And then I thought probably I should try to pursue a career in academia. So I became really interested in this PhD option. And in the end, when I finished the program, I was offered um, a PhD position and uh, could continue. I went on to write about um, the use of distributive justice. I teach economists about theories of distributive justice, but I try to do this um, using also my background in economics. I find it really useful to have this interdisciplinary background because it enables me to teach um, these students, I think in a better way than if I would just have been trained as a philosopher. Um, so UCU is definitely helpful for this. Um, it's also relevant to my research. So I um, became particularly interested over time in questions at the intersection of economics and political philosophy, um, in particular about taxation. Campus life, so I really enjoyed living on, on uh, the campus. Interdisciplinarity and um, I, yeah, so I, from then onwards, I, I became convinced that different disciplines need each other to really answer questions that are important to society. Um, international atmosphere, so I found it really enjoyable um, to um, study together with people from all kinds of different countries. Um, I, I found the small-scale teaching um, really nice. I think it's a little bit more challenging than some uh, bachelor programs that um, just go into one discipline. You um, have to take charge of your own education program a bit more um, and you're called upon to really actively um, participate. I think you really make friends for life if you go to UCU because you live together with everyone, um, which, is, uh, which is really nice. I would definitely recommend people to, to do liberal arts and sciences at University College of Utrecht.